so you'd like to draft using metric units. Well, in the big scheme of things, there's a little more to drafting in metric than merely changing our unit settings. The first thing we need to understand is that AutoCAD by default is set to an imperial drafting environment. If you look at my screen, you can see I've just launched my AutoCAD 2010. I'm currently sitting in the default blank drawing. Let's take a look at our unit settings. I'm going to come up and click my application menu. Then I'm going to come down to drawing utilities and I'll select units. Right here in the middle of the dialog box, I can see that AutoCAD is defaulting to inches. Now let's say I'd like to work in metric. Maybe I'd like my units to be millimeters. I wish I could say it's as simple as simply clicking this fly out, selecting millimeters from the list, and we're good to go. I'm afraid that's not the case. There's more to metric than adjusting this one setting. You see, this setting doesn't account for my line type scale or my metric paper sizes. Watch this. I'm going to click OK to accept this setting. And then I'm going to come up to the top of the screen and I'm going to launch the plot command by clicking this icon. We'll talk about plot a little bit later in this title, but for right now, notice that AutoCAD is still referencing my paper sizes using inches. So at this point, I am not working in a full metric environment. Let me click cancel to close this. The easiest way to work in metric is to start from a metric template. Let's try that. I'm going to create a new drawing. I'm going to come up to the Quick Access Toolbar and we'll click the New icon. And in the Template dialog box, I am going to select this template, ACAD ISO. This template is designed for metric drafting. Then I'll come down and select Open. Let's take a look at our units in this new drawing. Notice in this drawing, using the ACAD ISO template, I am defaulting to millimeters. Let's click OK. Once again, I'm going to come up and launch the plot command by clicking the icon. And notice that in this drawing, AutoCAD is referencing my paper sizes in millimeters. As you can see, I am now working in a metric environment. I'm going to click Cancel to close this dialog box. Now you may be wondering, what drawing does AutoCAD default to when we launch it from the icon? Let's take a look. Once again, I'm going to click the New icon. AutoCAD normally starts using this template, the ACAD template. And this drawing represents an imperial drafting environment. Now you may also be wondering if it's possible to start using the ACAD ISO template. Yes it is, let me show you how we can do that. I'm going to close this dialog box. And if we'd like to start using the ACAD ISO template, we're going to have to make a change to our options. So I'm going to right click and select options from the bottom of the menu. Then I'm going to go to the files tab. This is where we change the paths where AutoCAD is looking to find things. I'm going to come down and click the plus and open up template settings. I will then click the plus next to default template file name for Q new. I will select this entry and I'll click browse. Notice AutoCAD takes me right to the template directory. I can select ACAD ISO and click open. If I pull the slider down, we can see I have now added that path as my default template. I can click Apply and OK. At this point, I'm going to close out of AutoCAD. Let me click the X to close. We will relaunch the application. And once again, let's take a look at our units. Notice this guy's defaulting to millimeters. Let's click OK. We'll launch the plot command. Notice this is also set to millimeters. So now by default, AutoCAD is starting using the ACAD ISO template. Now I know what happens. You permanently change your AutoCAD's default drawing, and then two days later you say, you know what, I'd like to go back to the other drawing. How can I switch things back the way they were? Let me show you how we can do that. Once again, we're going to go to Options. Let me right click and select Options. We'll go to the File tab again. We'll come down to Template Settings. We'll open up Default Template File Name for Q New. I will select this path and I'll click Remove. I can then come down and click Apply and OK. And from now on, the next time I open AutoCAD, it will default back to its original drawing. If you have a desire to draft using metric units, it's nice to know that AutoCAD can be configured to suit your needs. If you're an occasional metric drafter, you can simply choose the ACAD ISO template drawing when needed. 
For those of you who use metric units all the time, AutoCAD can easily adapt to a default metric environment.